Well, a warm welcome to uh, what is a cold night here in Gloucester at the New Meadow Park. The kid of Mr. Harriers in their all navy strip will defend the goal away to our left in this uh, first period on this plastic pitch here at Gloucester. Gloucester in their all red with a taint of orange on there as well. But Hemmings on this near side of the pitch will look to play the ball in. Austin's come short. They played it close to each other. Now Hemmings in the area. Fires a shot, but he's whacked up with the outside of his boot, and it's always going away. Four-man wall there at the moment. Harriers lining up at the far edge. Bajrami is in there. Hemming it is, who curls the ball over the wall, but also over the bar. Darlington will have to battle back all over again as the captain for Gloucester strides forward. Dawson plays it through. There's a chance in and a goal for Ollie Hilbert. Late change there from Harriers. So it'll be having to lift the ball into the area. Harriers will look to attack it. Good header away. Picked up on the far side there by Sterling. Sterling jinks his way into the area. Fires in a low shot, taken though by Jake Cole. Brought down there by Martin. Now the charge is there as Sterling turns in field. Richards would have been the ball. Played it into Penny on the other side. Good turn from Hemmings. Martin with a shot off. Oh. Martin was Amari Sterling. Kicks the ball out of play and then kicks it away from Penny, so he can't take a quick throw in either. Ball into. Hemmings turns away from his man, breaking now towards the area. Hemmings it is with an equalising goal. That was a sublime finish. Five minutes into the second half, and Harriers, who started the second half so well, are back on level terms. Great turn in the middle of the park by Ashley Hemmings. Stepped away from his marker and drilled the ball left footed. Russ Penn. Issuing instructions to Amari Sterling. Hemmings is there as well. Sterling it is. He's going to deliver that ball in. Curly towards the goalkeeper. It's a flick and off the bar. And it's in. Penny gets it. Amari Morgan Smith's header comes off the crossbar. And Penny is there to fire home the rebound on 66 minutes. And Harriers have turned it around. Sterling's ball in. Morgan Smith with the header. It came back off the bar. And Penny was on hand to slam the ball in from eight yards. Lost to the lead, but Harriers two goals in the second half. Hemmings getting the equaliser. And then it was Penny with a finish as Harriers break again now. Austin leading the charge, still with Austin through the middle, Austin going all the way can he beat the keeper, he's round the keeper and he's put it away seven minutes remain and Harry has I think have taken all three points what a finish from Sam Austin he's raced virtually half the length of the field straight through the centre of the Gloucester back line rounded the goalkeeper and calmly finished into the back of the net to put Harriers three goals to one ahead. The Harriers captain with a perfect finish. It's Gloucester City one. Kidderminster Harriers three. Robbed by Amari Morgan Smith. Great work from Morgan Smith there who pushes the ball all the way back. And there's a misfeed. Darren Nugent's left it. And now it's with Hemmings. Gloucester virtually given up as Hemmings coming forward. Getting to that right hand side of the area. Sets up Amari Morgan Smith, does he? It takes a deflection. Oh, good save. It took a deflection off Gehring. And somehow Cole got down to deny Morgan Smith. As the ball's played forward again, and Harriers block. And there are four minutes of added time. We've already had two of those. Stockwater beaten Kings Lynn by five goals to nil. And Harriers are coming out of the trap again. And it's Hemmings on his own. Coming forward, Nugent's trying to go back with him, but he's fired it in as Hemmings is over the top of Cole's goal. Looks at his watch once. He has a look a second time, and that will do. Kidderminster Harriers 
secure another victory on their travels. Following up the 4 1 win at Alfreton on Saturday, they get a 3 1 away win at Gloucester. Six points on the road for Harriers from the last two games. In the first half, it certainly didn't look as though that was going to be the case. Oliver Holder's goal up at 10 minutes settled the first 45 in favour of the home side. But Harriers turned in a performance in the second half, which saw them net three times.